Thank you and welcome back to the Las Vegas Sports Talk. Uh, once again, giving you news that you can use. Uh, now you're wondering, got to be wondering, uh, if this is the Las Vegas Sports Talk. Why is there a picture of a marijuana leaf right there? Are you changing uh, how you are doing your videos? Um, no, we're sticking to sports. Uh, and the reason that we plant is there is because I have to break this down. Uh, uh, break this down so you can get a better understanding. Uh, the NBA, NBA, uh, National Basketball Association, is considering uh, not testing for uh, marijuana in the upcoming season. So, but I'll let you know why they may have possibly came up with that but, uh, decision. So let me just quickly uh, go over the course of events that took place that brought us up to uh, me saying that. Uh, okay, so last Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday, uh, there was a recommendation from the World Health Organization of the United States Commission for Nar Narcotic Drugs, uh, which voted to remove cannabis from the list of the world's most dangerous drugs. Uh, so then on uh, Friday, the United States of uh, representatives voted to remove marijuana from the federal schedule of controlled substance. So that's big news for all you marijuana smokers or users. Um, so basically, um, they voted voted to pass a uh, 228 to 164 uh, margin to mark the first time either chambers of Congress has voted on this issue uh, to fairly decriminalize cannabis. So, with that being said, you're asking, well, what does that have to do with NBA? Okay, and I'm going to tell you, um, due to the recent uh, coronavirus or corona pandemic, uh, everyone that was in the bubble, uh, basically... Uh, since they were in the bubble, there was no need to, I'm assuming, no need to do uh, random tests for drugs. Uh, so, in conjunction, as they say, uh, due to the unusual circumstances, in conjunction with the pandemic, which is the COVID-19, uh, they agreed uh, with the NP correction NBPA National Basketball Players Association to suspend random drug testing or correction random testing for marijuana for the 2021 season uh, now but there's it 
they are still going to be conducting uh, tests. So I guess as they call it, only with cause tests will be conducted. Uh, so basically, um, they're moving to, I guess the United States is, or the world in the United States is going to make the marijuana uh, not a Schedule 1 drug. Uh, so I guess it wouldn't be a problem with uh, people uh, smoking it. And, uh, so that would be a good thing. Um, as far as the NBA, um, we all know uh, several uh, NBA players uh, stated they smoked while they were in the league. Uh, they didn't say it while they were in the league, but when they got out of the league or wasn't playing, oh yeah, sure, I smoked. Oh yeah, 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 we smoked. Uh, so, you know, at least 50% uh, use some form of marijuana. Uh, whether it's, uh, you know, the bud, the edibles, um, concentrates, CBD oils, lotion or patches uh yeah so pretty much basically you're running up and down the court uh day after day or every other day and gimmicks are all and you're hurting your body's hurting uh i guess you're gonna uh from taking a bunch of pills and stuff you figured well i'll just work with uh, uh marijuana uh medical marijuana or regular marijuana and, and you know get rid of the aches and pains that way so there you have it the NBA will not be testing uh, players for weed and I think because of the whole schedule a thing that they reach uh, it's gonna be interesting gonna be interesting uh, sooner or later, um, I guess now you can go to the club and, you know, as they say, uh, smoke out with your favorite NBA player. And then, you know, who knows? NBA is first and football could be next and uh, baseball, soccer, uh, hockey. Yeah, this is this is big. This is big. So let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, how's this going to spread to the other uh, professional sports? And then um, you know, take it a step further. Will it uh, go into the college uh, programs? Uh, sports so yeah this is this is very interesting um, I don't have the exact numbers but yeah pretty much everybody you know um, smokes uh, marijuana so yeah this will be very interesting um, so yeah make sure you follow me on uh, Facebook Instagram Twitter and uh, don't forget to like the channel and definitely leave me a comment so until then uh, Mark, this is Marcus and I will see you next time later